Welcome to 4128 TV. I hope you enjoy this movie. Please subscribe if you haven't done so and let me know what you think by leaving your comments below. Huh. Did you see all that cash? That'd keep us eating for a couple of months, I'd say. Yeah. You ever seen them before? Well, I'll see you, Sheriff. Time I was getting home. Yeah, might come in handy, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, so long, Good Sheriff. Luck. Don't look no more, you will not be saved, cause you don't know yet what love is. Walk by my side and guard your stars. You know that bee, it suits you. It suits the man you've become. Dr. George Benton.
I promise you that as soon as we're married, we'll be going there together. George? Your brother, Jonathan. Do you think he'll consent to us being married? Yeah, I'm sure he'll agree. Both of us are old enough anyway. We can make up our own minds. Besides, Laurie, he thinks we're right for each other. Yoni! All I know is he wrote us and told us he'd be back over a month ago. I know that's what he wrote us. So what? Well, all I know is by now he should have been home. But that doesn't matter. Maybe he got delayed at the school. Don't fret about it. So but the important thing is he'll be coming home a doctor. You can leave me here. Why don't you come along home with me, Laurie? No, you go home alone. I think it's better, George. It might be difficult to explain how I knew you were here. How about tomorrow? Yes, sure. Take care. In the morning, all right? Yeah, I'll call for See you. See ya. thousand bucks, he's with Laura. You shouldn't bet something you don't have. I still say that's where he is. Your brother is a fully grown man, a responsible adult, so let him make his own decisions, all right? Johnny! Uncle George has returned! Dad! Arthur! Where are you? Uncle George! Uncle George! Johnny! Uncle George! Hey, Uncle George! Uncle George! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Johnny boy, you sure grown tall. And you sure gotten ugly with all that mess around. <laughs> Dan, Arthur, sure good to see you. Hey! 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 George! Hey. <laughs> hey, how are you, you old prairie dog? <laughs> and you, Hannah, how oh, are wonderful. you? Wonderful. Well, will you make it? Ah, just wait a second. Uh, well, open it. Uh, the San Francisco University of Medicine and Nursing. This is to certify that the holder of this certificate, Dr. George E. Benton, is a fully qualified general practitioner of medicine.
I've been in love with Laurie for five years. Why should we wait any longer? You used to listen to my advice at one time. Your trouble is you still think I'm a little boy. I know you're a man now. A doctor. That's why I feel you shouldn't rush into it till you get set up. Wait why should he wait? They've decided to get married, and there's no reason why they shouldn't. In fact, if they take my advice, they'll do it as soon as possible. How about next Sunday? Next Sunday? Couldn't be too soon. Now, just a second. You listen no. to me. No. You listen to me. They're going to get married. And I'm all for it. <laughs> you two still battling away like always, aren't you? George, listen. When our mother died, she made me promise to bring you up the best way I could. And I did. You're a doctor, sure. But the merit's mine. He's trying to say that you're indebted to him. That's exactly what I'm saying, and it's the truth. And he should remember it. Don't you agree? I realize that a man has to live his own life, but to figure now you're back, you can pitch in and help us a little. For instance... For instance, to begin with, he could cure his rheumatism, his backache, and operate on his corns at no cost to him. Leave him alone, can't you? A man's got to live his own life, just like you said. Hmm. I know a woman takes a whole lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, old man. You've still got a few years studying. Listen, for six years, Hannah was the proverbial kid. Then we got married. She turned into a mountain lion. You'd be careful that Laura doesn't do the same thing. <laughs> On your feet, you bastard. It's time you got to I work. I have a piece of You can go straight to hell. I'm sick and tired of this damn idea of yours. Get out into the river, come on. What the blaze have you been doing? I thought I warned you to stay out of trouble here. You're fussy as an old lady, Wall. Hey, Rod, I've been thinking. Why should we do what he tells us? Who the hell does he think he is, anyhow? He's a man who gives the order. That's right. And if you want to know why, it's because I know where the gold is. I'm beginning to think my big mistake was hiring three clowns like you the way you mess around in town. If you're afraid of a dog-eared sheriff, go ahead and run. Only you better wait till we're rich. He's right. We've got to be clowns to be working the way we do. And I'll tell you something else, Rod. I'm sick of digging in this goddamn river. Whoa, I ain't taking orders from you no more. You'll keep working, you understand me? And no one's leaving. He's right. We might as well stay. Especially as I'm finding ways to make a little cash on the side. What's happened to the town? Laurie told me it's changed in the past five years. There's hardly anybody still living there. Just the parade of faces from wanted posters. They ride in from everywhere. Ever Come since on, the word got out there. Jonathan. Let us say grace. For what we are about to receive, may the Lord make us truly thankful. Amen. 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 Somebody spread the word. There's gold to be found about five miles up the river. Well, you can imagine the rush that started. Gold to be found in this count is grain. And I don't figure there's much of that this year. Anna, let's stay off that subject. Anyway, I ain't going after gold. I didn't mention gold. Well, I know the one thing you're always thinking about, that city life. But I ain't leaving the land. I was born a farmer and I'll die one. The truth is you're getting old, Jonathan. <laughs>
You see how it is, George? He has a little money now, and his son's to work the farm for it. He really doesn't have to do a thing. Just sit around sleeping, eating, and getting fat. Shut up, woman. Well, it's the truth, isn't it? George? If after you get hitched, you want to come and live with us, you're welcome. And if you want to take Laura to San Francisco, I won't stop you. Why should you have any say in the matter at all? What can he do here? He won't make anything working in town. All right, George, we'll go into town tomorrow morning and set up the marriage. There's no fool like a young fool. He's crazy. I think Father's got something wrong with him. Maybe you'd better get him to a doctor tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Here. Oh, thank you. Hey, Florence. Uh, hey, Doug. Give me a little of that red eye, will you? Sure. There you are. Thanks. clean up the town, you citizens will have to do something about that it. That ain't so easy, Jonathan. There's not many of us left. Most everyone's gone searching for gold. They're crazy, all of them. Get back in the house, Laurie. I'll see you in a while. Oh, <laughs> 
there's work for you to do. Uh, they need you in the saloon. Well, what can I do on my own? I telegraphed Saxonville and told him I needed some help up here. You get a reply, though? Yeah, they said they were going to send two deputies out, but that was three months ago. They really don't give a dang about us down here. It's up to us, isn't it, Sheriff? Yeah. Uh, Want to kill each other? That's fine by me, but not in my town. Now get out of here, all of you. I told you to stay inside, Lori. She's all right here, Sam. In fact, she can help. Lori, go get some bandages, will yes, you? Yes, right away. I tried to, to stop it, Sheriff. You did, did you? You tried to stop it, huh? That's right. And no one listened to you, huh? You better close for the rest of the day. Well, it wasn't my fault, Sheriff. What was I supposed to do? Just do as I say. Or you won't have a place to open. Well, I say you and Lori should come and live at the farm. As soon as they find there's no gold in the river, they'll all be coming back to live in town again, and you'll have plenty of clients. I'll get them for you, don't worry. I'm sorry, but I think you're wrong, Jonathan. The way I see it, it's going to get worse around here, a lot worse. Well, as long as Lori's with us, you can be sure she'll be safe. There'll always be someone to look out for her. There's going to be a lot of bloodshed here in the near future. We should pull out now, all of us. Don't worry, I can after my own. Stubborn, just like Hannah says. But don't go saying I didn't warn you. No! Oh. Lie down! 
There's no point in us both going into town. You better go back to the house. The right. Get moving. Well, now everyone's happy. Let's go. right now. I'll show you what a broken back is really like. What's going on? That whining brother of yours is always tired. You tell him if he doesn't pull his weight, he's going to lose his cut. Did you get the whiskey? All right, get working. You've had your break for the day. Until we find some gold, how about sharing a little of your cash? I'm sick and tired of drinking water. I'm sorry, little brother. I can't help you today. Sheriff closed down the saloon. I uh, won't stay that way for long. Get a bottle or two tomorrow. Don't stand around there like a bunch of milkmaids. Get to work, damn it. One day I'd like to fill his ears in with lead. Well, don't do it yet, Peter. We need him for a while. Yeah, how long's a while? Long enough for him to show us how to find gold. Ceremony, Johnson? The last time I presided over a marriage was back in Springfield in 63. It was a young couple, friends of my son. 
You knew my son, Benny, didn't you? He was a good boy. Now, don't go bringing that up again. That happened years ago. Yeah, I know, Jonathan. Years ago, but I still can't forget that day. He was your Arthur's age, 27, when they murdered him. Sheriff! You're not going, are you? I must, I'm afraid, Hannah. Thanks, Rebel. I'd like for us to leave right away, Laurie, but we can't. We must stay a while longer. Try and convince Jonathan to take Hannah and the boys out of this territory. You're more concerned about him than me. Laurie. George, please try to understand. In these past few months, there's been such an awful tension in the air. And I'm afraid if we don't leave now, we never will. You said we'd go to San Francisco, didn't you, George? After we were married? Just a few days more, please, Laurie. And then we'll pull out, you'll see. Don't tell me you believe those stories about gold. Sure, they've already found some. Now you bust your back for a month and pull out enough dust to buy yourself a couple of bottles of whiskey. You ready, Gladys? Well, that's better than dying of hunger in this place. Yeah. Frankie. I'll up that offer to $60 a month. Give me a hundred and you've got a deal. It's too damn risky for anything less. All right, then, a hundred. How's it going, McRae? Well, the big one's been doing a lot of shouting. He says he wasn't the one who attacked the stage. He says we can't keep him locked up and says he has legal rights. Don't worry about your rights. You'll be legally tried and legally hanged. We didn't murder anyone, and that's the truth. Those bodies were already there. We didn't kill him. Hmm. Thanks, McRae. Frank, you'll take a turn now. Hey, what about us, Sheriff? Yeah, how about something to eat for us? Prisoners get bread and water twice a day. I know the rules. Come on, starving us to death ain't legal. Eat! Hey, I, I paid 35 cents for that. Just a few days more. There's nothing to fear. 
What's the matter, Lori? What's wrong? I want us to be happy together. And, George, you've no idea how I've wished for this day. And, well, I think I'd die if anything ever happened to you. That's why I want to leave. says you'll be going away with Laurie in a few days. Well, is that right? Yeah. Will we ever see you again? <laughs> yeah, sure. San Francisco's a long way, isn't it? Don't worry. We'll meet up again. I'll be back in a minute. Aren't you coming to eat, Johnny? In a while. I gotta speak to you, Paul. Ma'am? Yeah. Alone. Where are you going? Johnny'd like to talk to you alone. It's a very serious thing we gotta talk about, Paul. Yeah? Well, ain't none of us wants to live here on the farm any longer. Why not? And stop eating, will ya? I'm talking. I wish all of you could have seen his yeah. face. Come on, let's go and listen. I'm letting him see you. We won't well, let's go. I've got a feeling Johnny will change his mind. Yes, when Johnny's serious, he's convincing. Not if he'll do it. Easier to talk a mountain than a moving. I'm sorry about all this. It's my fault, really. I would like to stay, but... It's not your fault in the least, Laurie. Newlyweds need to be on their own for a little while. When we got married, we hid away in the hills. Don't you think it's about time we pulled out of this lousy dump? Go to hell. We can't go on like this. We ain't got no more money. You got any ideas? Broad's got one. There's no risk. It wouldn't get us very much, but at least it keeps us from starving to death. What do you mean when you say no risk, Rod? The last time we nearly got ourselves strung up. Now, you can count me out. Listen to me. I said no. You'll come in with us, Wall. You'll be on your own in more ways than one. There's three of us. All right, right. I'll go alone.
All right, come on. Wake up. I'd like to get rid of those bastards once and for all, with a couple of bullets in their heads. Come on, move it. Carl, wake, wake up. up. On your feet. Get moving. Hey, me. Come on, let's get out of here. All right, now, come on. They're too drunk to leave here, Sheriff. I don't want them causing you trouble. I'll just put them to bed. Huh? If you was a horse fly and I was all gray mare, I'd stand and let you bite me and never move. of it alone. Just don't go getting yourselves into a barrel of trouble, that's all. Okay, get going. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, little brother shouldn't drink. Yeah, they fell for the bait like hungry fish. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us where the cash is hidden.
I found it, Peter! You have to be patient. Another few days, and take that medicine twice daily, all right? Right. I'm sorry about your having to ride out all this way, Doctor. It was no bother. Now, don't forget. Send for me as soon as the pain starts. Sure thing, Doc. Dr. Benton, you've a heart of gold. You got it from your mother, I'll be bound. I knew her well, your mother. I think your brother's the one more like your father, that stubborn streak he has. A chip off the old block. came back and saw what had happened here. He just rode off. <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Sam. You hear? Do you think they'll find those killers, Sheriff? Sure we'll find them. They won't get far. Do we have to keep running like this? Well, if you wanted to catch it, slow down. We can't kill that deputy folk, Barry. Just gonna stand around here and not do anything at all? Like a bunch of timid jackrabbits? The Bible says an eye for an eye. And that's what the God-fearing people of this town should start thinking on. We can't let killers like that go loose. We've got to get together and help the sheriff. Sure, but there ain't many of us, and we ain't got guns. Why not just admit you're afraid of your own damn shadows? Ain't you afraid? Haven't seen what they've done to Frankie and the Bentons. How about calling up the Federals? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. How about the Federals, McCray? If we wait for troops, with the time they get here, the trail will be cold. It's up to us people to get together and help the sheriff. Why, the man's alone. He's the sheriff, right? It's up to him to bring in those killers. That's what he gets paid a salary for, right?
Would you mind giving me all the money I'm due? Why? Because I'm leaving. So you're leaving, are you? Why? I've saved a little, and I want to go back to Jacksonville. It's too dangerous here. All right, why not? Two, three, four. You uh, got very beautiful legs, you know, Jane. But that's not enough. You will find that people want more. You know, Jane, I could do a lot for you here. Yeah. I got my life, and I'm sick of this town. Let's make a deal. Why don't we go looking for gold? I know more or less where it is. Yeah, help me find the gold. And then we'll see. We'll see what? Whether or not you'll give me my share? Trust me. We'll go somewhere like Springfield together. And open the biggest saloon you've ever seen. Everybody will envy us for it. And it'll all be yours. Ah, so you're planning to marry me then, are you? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Naturally. You know, compared to you, all the men I've bedded are angels. Ready, Ralph?
me explain. I didn't want to kill anybody. They shot first, goddammit. Please. You, you gotta believe me. Self-defense. You killed my family. Family? Is not true? I didn't kill your family? No! That man is my prisoner, George. No, Sheriff, he's not. You're not a legal judge or executioner, Doctor. Your job is saving lives, not taking them. Is that right while I hear Rod? Will we pull out next Saturday? Why, you want to stay here? Well, it's obvious nobody suspects us, so I thought You we'd... think too much for your little brain. Well, as soon as we cross the border, <laughs> I'm really going to show them furry little senoritis. We ain't Mexico yet, Peter. And there's plenty to do right here. That's Rod. Another two days and then we move. You get Mitchie to move, ain't you? I get the impression you're a mite scared. Oh, hell. It's just that I want to spend a little of my money someplace where a man can find a little action. You know, you got yourself a big mouth wall. They'll love you in Mexico, kid. What's eating you, Carl? How did it go in town? I got a hunch you didn't get anywhere with her, right? That dirty bitchin' little whore. <laughs> well, we can't all get lucky. Going into town, bring back a bottle. George. Johnny, wake up, Johnny.
The sheriff was here this morning. Does he know that Johnny... Yeah. Where is the woman? She's not working. What, is this a joke? I said she's not working. Look, amigo, double the usual. Don't you understand English? She's not working. Now get on out of here, both of you. That was very nice of you. That doesn't mean us as well, right? The second door on the left. But you have to pay. More. Gregory didn't want me to come up here. Hmm. I'll bet he made you empty your pockets of every last penny, right? You should know well enough, sweetheart. Yes, I do know much better than you can ever imagine. He wants us to get married. Ah, congratulations. Let's make a little toast to that. All right. The toast I'd like to drink is to all that gold that you Farguses are about to find. There ain't no gold out there. Then why are you out there? Because that crazy wall thinks he knows where to find it. Ha! Huh. That's the craziest damn thing I've heard in years. The great Fargus brothers taking off from that dirty, no good, light flunkies. Well, you can go back downstairs and get your money back. Because I am not about to give or sell anything to flunkies. Now get out! Dr. Benton, sir, could you come by the house now? The pains have started again. The real fears. All right, now get it back to your house. We're gonna do it legal-like. He's gonna get a fair trial. And just how the hell are you gonna give him a legal and a fair trial in this town, Sheriff? And you can't tell me that anybody's coming from Saxonville. There'll be Federals here in a few days. I've already had it confirmed. I don't see why we should wait for anybody any longer. Hold it right there. I'll put a bullet in the first one who tries to get by. Sheriff, that man's a murderer. He ain't got no need of a trial. That hasn't been proven yet. And he says he didn't do it. But if he didn't do it, who did? I don't know. But I'd darn sight better chance of getting some answers. If you go on home and leave me in peace. You better get those answers real quick, Sheriff. Come on, let's go.
deprived of the other. A well, little guy uh, darkened the other one. With a bandana covering his face, too, Sheriff. Uh, mean, black hair, small and wiry. What do you have on? His jacket was kind of light colored. Huh? There was nothing special. What the hell's going on here? Two days ain't enough yet. Who gives a damn? He can stay here and look on his own. Go and get Peter. What are we going to tell Wall? Hell, Wall, get Peter! soon enough if you're telling the truth. There was one survivor at the Benton Ranch. I'd be well enough to talk to us in a day or two. He'll prove it. He'll tell you I'm innocent of those killings. He'll tell you everything. You go out there, Sheriff, and you make him tell you. You'll still have to stand trial for killing Frankie. Ralph killed Frankie. I didn't do it, I tell you. I didn't do it, you hear? Rod! Rod! Rod, they found gold! About half mile up the river. There's gold all over the place. So I was wrong. What was right? <laughs> we'll be rich, Carl. We'll be richer than the president of the United States. Richer than we've ever dreamed of. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to talk to you. Come this way.
They're working up near the rapids. You're wrong, Jane. It couldn't have been the Farguses. Why not? Because they were all drunk that evening. I know the Farguses well, and they're capable of anything. And especially what was done to your wife. Jane, stop it. Don't you understand I'm no longer afraid? It's about time someone took the law into their own hands and destroyed those bastards. <laughs> said anything. I swear I have. I gotta think. This is something you fellas should know. Can I tell you where you let me go? Is it a deal? Sure, it's a deal. Throw down, you gotta put your hands up. Don't kill me. One of the Bentons survived. You sure? Yeah. That's so. Which one? Uh, I'm not sure. But he's at the house. Take care of him for you. Let me go. I'll make sure you don't talk. Sure you will. Sure. Hold it. I'm looking for the Farguses. Where are the... Where are they? I don't know. I don't know. Or tell me where the hell they are, or I'll kill you. I don't know, I can't. We are shooting. That's right after. They disappear.
Where's the one that survived? Where is he? Where is he? No! Kill me, it'll be easier because I'm not telling you. Where is he? Come on, tell us. You're wasting your breath. So I'm wasting my breath, am I? Kill us! Run! He's heading away. I had a strange premonition that something was wrong. I'll be all right now, George. If you get after those murdering coyotes, I'll take care of things here. Dr. Finn, he just killed Carl and Peter. You gotta help me, Walt. I'm not Thank <laughs> you. 
Doctor, I just want to tell you what a pleasure this is. Feeling you's gonna make my day. Thank you for watching. Please check back soon for more uploads.